Hello my alienators, welcome back to my channel, new subscribers, welcome. First of all, let me just get this out of the way because I'm so like tripping and shook and just losing my mind over my own lipstick line. I can't even think about anything else, but I want to do these videos for you guys. But all I'm thinking and obsessing over is my freaking lipstick line. So I have been doing my videos with my own lipstick that I'm going to be producing and selling hopefully worldwide, honey. This is one of my favorite colors. It's a nudie, pinky, beautiful uh, color that's gonna look absolutely amazing on every skin color. It looks like this. It goes on like a gloss. It turns super, super mad. It's vegan. It doesn't have any bad smell. There's no chemicals in it. It, it's, it was not tested on animals, okay? Uh, it looks like this. It's gonna come in this black box with rose gold accents this looks like this has a rose gold accents which i'm living for it because i love gold and um so i want to get that out of the way i'm working on it if you guys are interested go ahead and email me my um my website is right here lerkit.com 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 go on that under services it has everything that i do and offer private coaching life coaching private readings and how much it is the forms of payment how to pay for it and if you guys interested check out my email which is on my site and i'll put it here too um if you guys want to start telling me that you're interested in the pic in the in, in the pictures if you guys are interested in the lipsticks i'm going to do a nude which is this i'm going to do a vampy brownish plum color i'm going to do a hot pink like this color and i'm going to do a bright red so they're going to be four colors in the collection i'm super excited they all have witchy names because I'm a witch and I think I'm going to be the first uh, makeup mogul that is going to be an actual witch and I will be putting spells in your lipstick so you can manifest what you want. Okay, honey? So before we get started, I'm going to just tell you guys really quick to make sure that you subscribe, share, and like and turn on the notification bell. Uh, I do my live streams every day at 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. daily Pacific time and then weekends at 10 a.m. Uh, my webinar group coaching is starting on June 13th, which is a Saturday, hopefully. If you guys are interested, go ahead and email me uh, that you're interested. Go to the website and figure out if you can afford it. Uh, my private coaching is, my private life coaching is really expensive, but the, the group coaching is, is a lot less, but it's going to happen weekly. Uh, it's probably going to be the best thing you will do with your life. If you can learn how to use energy to shift your life and, and create your own reality. Um, so let's get into today's video. All right. This video has been highly requested. You guys have been asking me to do a video on BTS and they're bomb. They're amazing. They're so cute. Um, I love their style, the way they're dancing, their music is everything. I love it. I'm living for it. And, um, I just I love their style. I love their hair. I love like the I love that they, they they wear makeup. I think it's it's amazing. Um and because I I love like 80s music and 90s music and I love like when guys wear makeup, like I just I'm deceased, okay? So, um I think they're fun. I think they're cool. And the fact that there's they have such a large huge platform and they've come forward about the Black Lives Matter. I feel like some some people are kind of you know giving them kind of uh uh some lip because they think like they're just saying that or doing that because they're trying to get like notice ar around this time but actually in reality they have a sense of responsibility and duty to reach masses with their popularity and fame and i think it's amazing and they've come out they've come out with a new hashtag which is it's the right group or something like that and i just think it's admirable i wanted to talk about it i wanted to kind of tune into them and just see you know they've literally taken over the world they're they are probably the most popular like uh boy band now of our time so uh and i think justin bieber wanted them to collab with them or something i don't know i don't know something about that i don't really know but i wanted to tune in to them without using the cards just kind of like tune into their energy and sorry you guys my dishwasher is going in the back if you guys can hear that this lipstick is everything oh i know i'm talking about bts you guys and i'm losing my mind over my lipstick i just want to show you guys how this has no transfer um i did a video with this already so it's been sitting on my face for about 20 30 minutes already but look nothing comes out on this white napkin look can you guys hear me kiss it now that I did it a little bit harder, it came out a little bit. I can drink coffee with it. It won't come out. Uh, let me test it for you guys. So, 
literally nothing comes out it's just coffee stain it's amazing this lipstick is everything i'm going to just take i'm just going to take over the world with this lip with this lipstick line i think i think i'm going to take over the world with this lipstick line yeah yeah i'm doing it i'm doing it anyways so the vibe i'm getting from them is that A lot of people are saying that they're just saying this because they're trying to, you know, um, uh, they, a lot of people are saying like, they're saying this because they're just, it's like a publicity thing. Like they just want to say this so fans and the people can feel like, oh, they did a nice thing and they mentioned the Black Lives Matter, Matter thing. But the vibe that I'm getting from them is actually, they are genuinely, sincerely mean that, that they don't stand for racism or prejudice or any of, any of that because I feel like, being Korean, wanting to be in the music industry, they have experienced racism and prejudice because of their ethnicity and where they're from. So I think that this is actually a pretty, um, uh, a, a pretty, uh, a big thing for them. I think they have each experienced it. Uh, I think they've been bullied, or yeah, I think they've been bullied. You guys. I don't, I don't know if, if they've talked about it, but I feel like they've been bullied because of the way they are or the way they're dressed or, you know, I know that like in Japan, it's this whole thing, culture of like the street, street, um, where that people kind of like, uh, either do like the eighties or the nineties and like different hair colors and things like that on men and women, on guys and girls. And, um, they very much look up to America, you know, they very much look up to here, the styles and fashion, and uh, they love it, they want to incorporate it. And I feel like they've gotten backlashes from people because of their ethnicity or, you know, where they're from. And it's like, somehow people think like that's only appropriate for like white people. Like if you're, you know, black or Asian or Middle Eastern or whatever, like you can't, have pink hair or wear you know makeup on your face like anyone can do whatever fuck they want to do and the reality of it is that in the entertainment industry it's a lot more extreme because people that get into the entertainment industry hi me actress uh we are very very creative people and we like to fuck with our with our style you know i like to have my hair orange black blonde I haven't done blue or anything, but purple or anything crazy like that because of work purposes, you know, but like we are just very creative people. We like to perform. We like to stand out. Everything is about standing out. I mean, for me, I wanted to create this line because a lot of women out there can wear bright colors, but for me, I want to wear blue lipstick. I want to wear black lipstick. I want to wear purple lipstick. I want to wear super, super bright colors because I want to stand out. I love it. I like when my hair is like not natural color because I want to stand out. I want to look different. I don't want to look natural because I already have natural beauty. Not being conceited. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, I got it. You know what I'm saying? I got that little honey. I got the natural look, you know, I don't have any makeup on other than some mascara, a little bit of eyeliner and blush and lipstick. There's no foundation. There's no powder. This is how I look, you guys. Okay. You guys see me every morning in my live streams. I look like shit. I literally, I literally roll out of bed and I sit and I talk to you guys. So I feel like there's a lot of people out there that don't like that natural look and they just want to like make themselves look different, especially in the entertainment industry, music, acting, writing, producing, directing, cinema, cinematographer, you know, cartoon uh, drawers, whatever, you know, it's just like a different. So um, I feel like they're genuinely, so people requested this video because they wanted me to address it, that they're talking about it. And also people wanted to see if I could see psychically, energetically, if what they're saying is sincere. And I'm here to tell you that what they're saying is sincere. They sincerely, genuinely do believe in hashtag Black Lives Matter. And they want to bring equality. They want to bring uh, everyone together. Uh, like I mentioned in my video for George Floyd and the other video that I put out about the, the 2020 energy reading is like we're all of the same race, the human race. And the, the, the sooner we can come together as a human race and have each other's back and respect each other and have and be love, loving and kind to one another, the better the world will, will transform into. We have to start the change with ourselves. By the way, if you want a group coaching, go to my website on the services, group coaching, private coaching, private ratings. I want to create this group coaching for people because I feel like with starting the change with yourself, you can change the world. It has to start with yourself. What did Michael Jackson say? 
first look in the mirror. If you want to change, look in the mirror and start the change with yourself. And I believe that to be so true that you can start such a huge, enormous global change by starting with yourself. And then it can just kind of transfer. This collective consciousness can just transfer to the rest of the humanity on this planet. I feel like uh, BTS, they're beautiful souls. They're beautiful. They're artistic. They're very creative. They're very good. And they have all the elements and they're using the platform for good and they mean it and it's sincere okay so i just wanted to talk about that really quick i, I hope you guys enjoyed the video um it was just i just wanted to give clarity about what they're saying because people are questioning them questioning their integrity questioning if they believe in it uh, of course they've been they've experienced races racism and being prejudiced against and all of that so um Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment box down below what you guys think. Also, don't forget, you guys, that I'm going to start my webinar uh, uh, on June 13th. If you guys are interested, please email me so I have your email so I can contact you. Um, I'm, I'm trying to create a list about who wants to start the webinar. I already have a bunch of people that want to do it. So make sure you email me that you're interested. It's a definite yes. We're going to start on June 13th. But please, please, please learn how to, how to use Zoom. It is a free video conferencing app on your app store. It's called Zoom. Download it. It's free. Learn how to use it. Uh, that's the platform I'm going to be using when I go when I do my group coaching. It's, it's not going to be on YouTube, okay? It's not going to be recorded because I'm going to go on weekly and teach you guys about meditation, visualization, law of attraction, how to change your reality, what to do. And um, make sure you subscribe, share, and like. Make sure that... Uh, you go on my Facebook group, Alienators, and so I can add you in if you want to become an alienator. I, I've named my viewers alienators. I'm super stoked. I'm super excited for all that I'm trying to create and manifest. And I hope that I can teach you guys to do the same. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning in my super chat. By the way, yes, every day I do super chat 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. daily Pacific time. And then the weekends is at 10 a.m. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Bye.